Hey folks, Jimmy here in Strange Vermont with my Indian friend. Now this isn't your normal everyday Indian. This is your megalithic builder. Much older time period. You can see this serpent on his face running down his head. Those are sapphire crystals, blue sapphire crystals. If you follow my channel, you might wonder why I'm talking about crystals and gemstones lately. And I found that a lot of the uh, shapes in the gemstones, like this sapphire right here, this is a half pound sapphire, 8.3 ounces. This was exhumed from... 30 inches below the ground in a top of the pyramid here. And sapphire is probably as hard as diamond. And see the eye? This was worked on, this stone. See the face? Looking at you from 30 inches under the ground. Here on top of a sacred pyramid in Vermont. This is a sapphire. This is also, I guess, came from the same place. Well, the sapphire mine out back. And these are sapphires, came from the same mine. And this guy is full of crystals. So I've been talking about gemstones and shamans and megalithic builders and you get things like this, very large sapphire stone. It's a hand axe. It's also got a female face in it. It's a beautiful hand axe. One giant sapphire stone. I guess what that's what I'll call it. Uh, I wanted to show this one though because it's the shape of it. It has that geometric shape. A lot of the artifacts I find here form into these shapes. This is sort of the hand shape, the perfect hand shape. And these people used it. They had geometry in their minds. And they were megalithic. See the elephant? What does all this mean? I get some criticism. People tell me I'm fooling people. That somehow this isn't real. That glaciers did this. You think a glacier did this? Look at the, look at the eyes shining. Look at that. A long time ago, someone took a piece out of that very hard stone right there to make that eye shine like that. That was done by one of these megalithic builders. And there they are right there. There's their portraits. They were large. These are 20 pound axes with their faces on them. This strange green stone. I don't know what it is. Very hard. It's got the blue crystals in it. This is a large hand axe I put up on my channel. And it's got the blue crystals. And it's a large hand axe. And this side is the uh, sharp end. It even has holes in it where the fingers go. And you hold on to it. And your fingers go right into those holes.
I can handle it, but it's a little heavy. Primitive man. See the eagle etched into the side of the stone? Can you see that? Let your imagination go wild with these things. And that's what their power is. If your imagine start, imagination starts to work, it impresses on everything in your life. Megalithic builder right there. There's his portrait. Everyone out there doing this, just keep doing it. Take a lot of pictures. Take a lot of photos. For some reason, they respond to photos really well. These images. Perfect. They love being photographed. Different lights, side lights. I like to do it either early in the morning or late in the day when outside, when the sun is um, at the side of the object, creating shadows and relief. Keep hunting, folks. Look what we got here. This strange phenomena that we're all finding everywhere in this country, from Kentucky to Tennessee to California to the Channel Islands, all over this land, this phenomena is happening and it's real. Blessings all from Strange Vermont with the Sapphire Indian here on Paleo Mountain.